So, one last 2017 movie to talk about, and that is Molly's Game. This was written and directed by Aaron Sorkin in his directorial debut, and stars Jessica Chastain and Idris Elba. This is based on the true story of Molly Bloom, played by Jessica Chastain, who ran an underground high-stakes poker game for many years and made a shitload of money in the process. But then the FBI caught wind of what she was doing, and it all went to shit. And now she has to face the charges with the help of her attorney, played by Idris Elba. I actually got to see a very early screening of this movie several months back. I wasn't able to talk about it at the time because I had to sign an NDA, and that was mainly because the movie was not yet finished. I think they pretty much had picture lock at the time, but there were a few visual effects that still had to be done, which was... And very interesting experience, because you wouldn't expect something like this, which is just a simple crime drama, to be that visual effects heavy, and it's really not, but there is a surprising amount of green screen work that goes into something like this. For example, there's one shot that takes place in an office that is clearly supposed to be in a Los Angeles skyscraper, but in actuality, it was done in a studio, and they have to chroma key the background in. Now that I've seen the actual finished version of the movie, I can tell you that all of the effects were completed and it looks fine. Also, at that early screening, Aaron Sorkin was actually there. Which surprised me because I had no idea he was actually going to be there. I was kind of hoping he would do a Q&A or something at the end, but instead, after the screening was over, he just left. That was kind of disappointing. But hey, at least I have my lame claim to fame now. I was once in a movie theater with Aaron Sorkin. But anyway, getting to the movie, I ended up liking this one a lot. It's a very intriguing story about a girl who grew up in a very competitive household and always aspired to greatness, and at first, she set her sights on being great at professional skiing. And when that didn't work out due to a freak accident, she kind of got sucked into this world of underground poker, and at first, she was really just there as an assistant to the guy running the game, but before she knew it, she found herself running the show. And it's amazing how quickly she goes from being the assistant to actually being in charge. Her competitive drive is very strong. She is very hardworking and determined and absolutely will not accept failure. And at the same time, she is desperate to remain honest in a world that does not reward honesty at all. And that does not help her down the road. And I don't think they could have found a better person for this role. Chastain absolutely kills it. Even in scenes where she is just standing there and just watching over the game, she just oozes authority and confidence. She is so good. And I love the revolving door of colorful characters that Molly meets along the way. There is the Hollywood douchebag played by Michael Sarah, who gets off on ruining people's lives. There's the filthy rich but completely inept poker player who has no idea what the hell he's doing. I mean, I suck at poker and I could probably take this guy. And the various card sharks and businessmen and, eventually, Russian mobsters. And I did like the various discussions between Molly and her, at first, reluctant attorney, and Chastain and Elba played off each other very well. And considering this is Sorkin's first time directing, I thought he did a pretty damn good job overall. Honestly, if I didn't know ahead of time this was his directorial debut, I wouldn't have been able to tell. I could maybe nitpick a few minor things here and there, like a minor editing gaffe or two, but for the most part, this was solid. Now, one criticism I have, and this is something I hear a lot of other people say about Sorkin, is that there are times when he tends to get a little mansplainy, and it's something that I've honestly never really noticed before until this movie. There are some sizable chunks of this movie that involve men explaining things to Molly, and for the most part, it didn't really bother me because she showed quite clearly that she could dish it out as well as she could take it. But there is one scene towards the end where Molly is reunited with her estranged father, and he basically sits her down and tells her how she feels. Yeah, that's pretty blatant. But overall, I thought this was very enjoyable. It has a good story, it's well-paced, it has an excellent sense of humor, and I would definitely recommend this at least as a matinee. 
I believe it only has a very limited release right now, but coming up this weekend, that release should expand. So if you didn't have your chance before, you should get your chance this weekend. And that's about it for Molly's Game. So I guess the next time you see me, I'll be talking about the best and worst movies that I saw last year. Till then, take care.